Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Burke, Family from the Gaming, Courts in Session. This is FG Politics on the CNN uh, Town Hall with President Joe Biden. I'm, I'm really, really, really confused. Supposedly Joe Biden got all these, you know, millions of votes that no one has ever gotten that many millions of votes before. And yet, whenever he goes anywhere, no one shows up to see him. I'm confused. How is that working? There's a, there's a disconnect here that it's not connected. It's not, it's not working for me. Um, I, I just, I'm, I'm baffled by it because President Trump is still getting massive people coming to his rallies. So it's like, huh? What's going on here? Why, how is that? You know, how is that happening? I mean, are they are they just only allowing a couple of people in and making sure that they're only going to say things they want to hear? Or they're trying to promote? I mean, they, they have like a narrative. They're just trying to, to guide the very few viewers who watched. Because they lost to the other uh, cable news shows, and I'm kind of confused why they couldn't seem to, I mean, they couldn't seem to get people to watch them. And... I'm guessing it may have something to do with their, their poor image. I mean, you know, they've, they've been labeled as fake and fraudulent for so long. I wonder if maybe that's kind of hurt them in the long run. Um, I don't know. I said, I'm a little baffled by it. I'm a little confused why there, there were so few people there. And um, I, I feel bad for all of America because it doesn't look like President Joe Biden is taking us in the right direction. He seems to be going the wrong direction. And, and I don't know what we're going to, you know, do to recover. I'm hoping we can recover in the future from, from all this damage he's been doing to our country. Um, but and I kind of feel bad for him, too, because he just doesn't seem like he's all cognitively there when you sit there and watch him. And, and, and I know I can sometimes do this. And you sit there and start going off and chasing a rabbit and go on some other topic. And, you know, it, it's easy to do. But I would think when you're president, you should be a little more... Uh, stable and, and and I don't think it really helps him when the the fake news who was constantly uh, attacking President Trump does everything they can to prop up President Joe Biden I mean what happened to investigative journalism what, what happened to asking questions what happened to, to holding the powerful accountable where where where'd that all go wait what uh like <laughs> what you do and it's like uh you know they flipped a light switch and fluffy was everywhere and I'm going mm, you kind of changed here you know, here's these wonderful investigative reporters. What happened? I mean, uh, asking fluff questions about ice cream and dogs? I mean, come on. Really? That's, that's getting a little on the lame side. I mean, not just the lame side. It's like, we have these major problems. What are you doing to fix them? And, and some of your uh, policies are causing these problems. Where are those questions? You know, I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm really, really baffled by it. Um, like I said, I hope it gets better, and um, I hope hope he turns. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in you pray for your leaders, and so I'm praying that he'll turn from his evil ways and, and turn towards God. You know, stop stop uh, propping up and promoting rebellion against God and start promoting um, obedience. So that's kind of one of my little things on it. But, yeah, the whole CNN town hall is just... It was bad. It was just horrible. And I guess that's why a lot of people didn't want to watch or even show up and see it. Because it was like, oh, this is just a waste of time. I mean, you know. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. We're going to have a recess for court. I thank everyone for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.